At 10 o'clock tonight, state troopers are urging drivers to slow down and follow the law. They stress not doing so could have some deadly consequences. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency says they saw nearly 32,000 traffic crashes last year. Hundreds of people died. Now, state troopers are bracing for one of the busiest travel seasons of the year, spring break. Our Brady Talbert spoke with the Leah this afternoon to hear their message to the community as they get prepared. Brady? Val, I-65 is calm tonight, but that will certainly not be the case come about mid-March. A state trooper I spoke to today says they plan to ramp up patrols in this area as students get out of school. Once our college students are returning home to, you know, see their family and friends and their loved ones, that's when we see a heavier presence in our traffic. The end of February marks the start of the spring break season. State troopers want drivers to be aware of their surroundings and to follow the law. In 2022, Aaliyah reports more than 10,000 people hurt in car crashes. More than 500 of them died. It's not good to hear those kind of numbers, to know that, you know, even though speed has been enforced and we have set speed limits for certain type of roadways and highways, that we still have a big issue when it comes to speeding. Following speed limits can help save lives. Senior Trooper Kendra McKinney also wants us to remind you of Alabama's move over law. If you see a construction crew or law enforcement on the side of the road, you need to slow down and get into the left lane. But if you see flashing lights behind you, pull off on the right side of the road. Do not do the left side. By getting in the left side, it still puts us in an unsafe situation because when you immediately jump over into that left side, other cars, they don't know what to do. The state trooper also wants drivers to be aware of Aaliyah's zero tolerance policy on drinking and driving. She wants drivers to avoid making any life altering decisions. It's an emotional toll on family and friends, but also law enforcement. It's kind of intense, but also we're still genuine humans at the end of the day. So we do have emotions, but we also still have a professionalism that we must carry. Yes, yeah, state troopers certainly have to hold in their emotions to do their job and investigate these crashes. They just don't want you to be next. Val. All right, thanks a lot, Brady. And Aaliyah saw fewer crashes, injuries, and deaths in 2022 than in 2021.